I basically died that night. I was a young punk with loads of determination. Whatever I wanted to do, I wanted to do 100%. The attacks on 9-11 bothered me. It was just sad. Hey, come here, boy. So I signed up for the Marine Corps. I wanted to make a difference. <laughs> come on, bud. I graduated number one in my class. I could have gotten any job in the Marine I wanted. <laughs> I had a month of leave at home. I was in a bad part of town with bad people. I should have never been there. There was a little shoving match that escalated outside. I don't remember who the guys were, but it was my own damn fault. They told my family, he's got 10 minutes left. I don't remember taking these photos, but you know, I got discharged and I was like, wow, you know, it's really happened. I uh, finished top of my class, had a good head on my shoulders, but now I couldn't even think right. Where could I go from here? I'm a kid looking at New York City. Here's the city looming large. This is the place I want to be. Nobody's bigger than that city. It has the most beautiful view, so quiet. Then you, sh you go on the inside. Walk in through the door, go through the curtain. The music was right, the lighting was right, the noise, the ambience, the crowd was beautiful. The sound of the ice banging back and forth, cracking them, shaking them. It's like, this is what I want to do. I want to be that guy right there behind the bar. You become a better bartender by being able to relate to somebody. They come to New York City and it's beautiful, but it's fast and they're exhausted and they go into my place, it's dark, and they get a great drink and they get served by somebody that makes them feel good. Man, it just makes me feel like, oh, this, is, this was a memorable moment. And this is our sort of our little foxhole and we have hordes of people coming our way. We have to fight them off with drinks, you know? <laughs> I finally found my way, and I was able to heal myself. I died in a bar, and I was reborn in a bar.